for more representation and that the status quo doesn't actually allow for this. 
We think that changes, yes, occur on a small level, on a regional level, maybe even on like the smaller scale. But we think what is really needed is legislation on the larger one. Now, why is this important? Well, we would tell you that there's a lot of smaller labor unions who currently aren't actually having a say. They aren't actually getting their rights and their wants um, actually fulfilled because they are too small to be noticed. We think that in this situation, we're going to be helping actors such as this one. We're going to be helping them because they now have a bigger union. Um, no, thank you. They're going to have a bigger union who is fighting for their own rights. And thus, when they change legislation for their own rights, we think it also positively affects these smaller unions who don't have a say in the status quo, but now will. We ultimately think this is the best catalyst for change because it helps everyone involved. I told you why it helps the bigger, um, bigger labor unions. I told you why it helps the smaller ones. We think it also helps the government. Oftentimes in the public sector, there is negative tension between the government and labor unions because they are bargaining, they are negotiating, they do want something from each other. We would tell you in this circumstance, you're actually going to have less of this tension. You're going to have more open communication. You're going to have people listening to each other. Because in the House of Commons, we think that when the government accepts these um, representatives from these labor unions, when they begin to hear what they're really trying to say, we think it's then that these two groups are going to understand each other. There's no longer going to be this tension, and we think they'll be able to speak openly about their issues, about their concerns, and that's something they're not really doing in the status quo because they're simply not heard. We think this underrepresented group is going to be represented. They are going to get their rights heard. And ultimately, on our side of the house, we think we've won this debate because we've taken down all of their points. Our points still stand, and ultimately, we stand for the rights of all labor unions.